Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. <laughs> okay, this is such a hypocrisy, literally <laughs> devil side of church. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel or Patreon, depending on where you found this video. Sorry about the little delay, I have been working shifts, and I'm back now. I went back to watch the Kuroshitsuji, the Black Butler. And oh my god, I have seen a spoiler. I have literally seen a screenshot from one of the scenes happening in the church, which I'm sure some of you already have seen. And I could not wait to watch it. In a previous episode, we've learned about the letter that she'll got from the Queen, asking him to investigate whereabouts of Derek, Queen's relative. And it looks like Shiel is trying really hard to become a member of the P4, the legendary perfect prefects. Funny thing is that he delegates all the duties to Sebastian, so it's actually Sebastian doing everything for him, plus he's still being a teacher. And oh my god, he's a hottie. I do like him being a teacher in there. But I wish the animation was more similar to the animation from the previous seasons. This one seems to be a little bit like very handsome and delicate, which is slightly different to the previous animation done, but I'm not gonna complain. We get some Bastion back on the screen and she'll she's 13, 13 year old so I'm really curious to see what other characters are gonna see. So far some of the prefects are looking quite interesting and I'm quite curious about Violet. He seems quite suspicious but then none of them doesn't and the prefects pupils themselves. I'd like to investigate them. If you enjoy watching my videos click on the like button to help my channel grow and if you would like to see more of my reactions subscribe. Thanks! Yeah, the root system is quite strange. Headmaster is so suspicious, like I would not be surprised if he actually doesn't exist, you know? <laughs> Mikael is sensei. Oh, but Shelly's having a laugh. Devil in disguise. Is that only them? I'm sure there is more. How did he get inside his devilish ways? I love it. Only to the one particular student. <laughs> Organize bookshelves. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and tea as well. Oh my god, literally everything. Can you not make him a tea? <laughs> oh, Shiel is such a spoiled brat. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sebastian, so much. Because you are perfect at it. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, so busy indeed. <laughs> we barely get to see you. Yeah, I think it would take you days. But look at that cheeky smile. You have a trick for that. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> Sebastian is probably boiling inside like a little brat. <laughs> Oh wow. Which is what he wants. You get into P4. Oh, I love his naughty smile. <laughs> It's always plotting something, strategizing. And he's only 13 years old. Imagine what if happens if he becomes like an adult. Oh, look at that. Lavish time. Oh, these cakes and tarts. <laughs> this house stands for beauty, don't they? Scarlet Fox. Perfect looks like a girl, I swear. It's just a pretty boy. It's so unreal. Ooh. Oh my god, it's a bookworm. We love bookworms. I do like their characters. But of course, it's uh, centuries of experience. What <laughs> a peculiar hobby, indeed. More than that. 
あ、<笑><笑> Well, then bring yourself a mirror and just keep looking at it. But do you not want him to join? Okay. I thought he would be more like against him, but he's not really suspicious about uh, Shiel sneaking around his house. Oh, wow, they're inviting him tomorrow. Oh, very eager. Fa 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 phantom hybu. <laughs> Oops. How could you not know the prettiest boy in school? That's what I'm saying. Judging by their standards. He really looks like a girl. He has such a perfect smile. As perfect as his hair. よく座ん風邪にあつめたんだ。だからファントムハイブ君、明日スワン風邪に来てくれ。うん、スバスティンオーウェイズアラウンド。午後4時にスワン風邪で待ってるね。フォークオグ、イズナットライト。アファットウォ
<笑>まさか。おや。僕にロリックを授かりをさせたことを後悔させてやる。モリスコール。ロリックです。あ、イマジンウェンヒゲッツ。ウェンヒベカムズアダルト。あいつはおそらく嘘つきの上州犯。あ
I mean, after all, he doesn't have many friends. He probably doesn't consider them friends, but they consider him friends. Uh-huh, I think I know where this is heading. <laughs> Are you actually doing all this parade on the way to school? Oh, this is very much him. I bet he was advised by Phantom Hive to make the entrance of that size. But it's nice to see him again. It's been a while and he's been quite a colourful character. Oh, that scene in the church. This is what I have seen as a spoiler and oh my god, I just couldn't unglue my eyes from the screen. A devil in the church and a poor little boy confessing his sins. So inappropriate. And what about Cole? He's just such a massive snake. He seems like someone who doesn't want his spotlight to be stolen. He wants all the lights to be on him. He wants to be the best, the most perfect. And he got extremely jealous of Phantom Hive. But I'm pretty sure none of them are perfect. They all have their little secrets. I'm surprised that we still didn't get more info on the headmaster, like his whereabouts. It is a, a rather mystery, because to me it seems like it's the P4 that are sort of in charge. A mystery indeed. But perhaps we'll find out more from the next episode. Thanks for watching with me and see you next episode. Bye! A massive thank you to my Patreon Isaac, as well as our Patreons and channel members, making me feel happy and appreciated. If you would like to join my Patreon family, the link is in the description below. You can find there over 100 videos in 100 opacity and uncut length. I often post weekly updates so you know where I am with my schedule, you receive personal messages, access to the voting polls, or you could get a shout out in my YouTube video. Whereas if you are interested in having early access to my YouTube videos and a special badge, you might consider joining my YouTube membership. Have a fantastic day and see you on the next video. Bye!